What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are just going to do a quick league selection review slash breakdown of the Spanish stars. So this is kind of a mixture of the league and its players. We've got Gundo that goes to a 96 overall. You've also got Rodrigo and you have my pick of the pack here as well, which is one of my favorite players to use. Marcus Lorente, absolute beast. Wait until I show you his card first because it's an absolutely amazing card. But also, as well as that lads, we do also have this so these are another selection that is coming for the spanish league so if you think okay we're missing rafinha we're missing griezmann we're missing the likes of Vinic vinicius jr or any of those they are actually coming in a future pack that is going to be the spanish league selection attackers on monday so it's going to be coming the 25th of september as you can see here obviously the levels need to be going up but we'll have a look at those as well and kind of like a preview of those okay thanks to eFootballDB.com. but back to this right lorente we're going to start with him He's one of my favorite cards to use. Straight off the rip, lads, I'm going to keep this short and sweet, right? There's no point dragging it out too much. I will say that there is probably about four players here that are worth your salt. Worth their salt and worth your time. Maybe five or six if you want to include Garcia and Vivian, who are actually pretty decent players. Um, I know they don't have massive levels to go. But I would say that Pepe Reina is just your traditional goalkeeper. I would say the left back and Isco, as well as Morata, they're just too slow, lads. I would also say Zubi Mendy, they're just not good enough. Isco's too slow. This guy is not defensive enough. He's kind of near, neither here nor there. As I keep repeating myself in these reviews and breakdowns, if you are new to the game and if you do not have a better squad than these guys and you get a couple of these with a couple of sneaky, cheeky spins, fine. You can get them in. You can train them up. They'll be better than the standard edition of the cards. But I would not be spinning or emptying this pack if you get your first two or, two or three choices in this. Rodrigo and Gundo and Lorente are all worth it if you do spin them with a couple of spins, right? So starting with Lorente, let's take a quick look at his card, right? He's got 28 levels to go. He's got brilliant player skills. He just needs one touch pass if you're going to be playing him uh, in that box-to-box -box kind of center midfielder role or else an attacking midfielder role and be very defensive-minded as well. But he can play everywhere, right mid, right back, and anywhere from defensive midfield up to an SS. So he is an incredible utility player as well as one of the best players to handle as well. I would argue, right... Goretzka used to be my favorite box to box. I would say that this guy Lorente is is pretty pretty close to uh, be my favorite box to box now. So over on eFootball DB when we train him up, this is my ideal build. Just try this build out. I'm not even going to talk too much through it. 85 speed and acceleration. You also have 86 stamina. If you are playing him as an attacking midfielder, you can actually reduce the dexterity down or the lower body down completely. And you can take away probably about four or five in the defendant to get the aggression still at about 80 or maybe defensive engagement at 80. And then you can decide whether you want to have 78 finishing or you can decide to have really, really good passing and dribbling. So you can kind of train him in multiple ways. But the first build I showed you was probably my favorite. I also want to take a look at the two center backs, uh, Garcia and Vivian. So these guys are both destroyers, as you can see there. They both have similar play styles. They both look kind of the same in terms of their build, their height, their weight. Everything is roughly the same, except Garcia's 10 kg lighter. That's going to make a small bit of a difference if you like to be physical, but really good player skills. You can see that they go up in their defensive stats here, as well as having speed and acceleration. They're very similar players, lads. I would say that Vivian is, is, is a better player, but he has less player skills. But you have got, with this guy, 93 jump and 89 header. Compared to this guy, he's more on the ground. So they're both destroyers. I wouldn't play them together, but I definitely think that they are beastly players as well. So that kind of leaves us on to this guy, Rodriguez, okay, who's a DMF destroyer as well. And I would say that this guy is as close to Declan Rice as you're going to get because he can play DMF, CMF, and he can play uh, CB if you really, really need somebody to slap back there. He's got blocker and interception and aerial superiority straight off the rip, as well as sliding tackle man marking and fighting spirit. And of course, he's on D rating this week, but he does have unwavering form. We will make a video about the form as well, lads. And I also will be making a video on how to train players before the 28th of September, which is the cutoff for the free reset of the players. And that's going to cause a lot of hassle, right? But when we actually train this guy up, lads, he turns into a beast. You can see that he's very similar to Declan Rice. So you know what you're getting with this guy. 
Um, both are destroyers. Both have similar defense and play styles and skills and everything. This guy has blockers, so you don't need to worry about throwing that on him. But I would definitely recommend put one touch pass on him if you have it. If you have a surplus of guys that legacy transfer, right? Good dribbling, good passing, but you're not going to be running the length of field with him, right? We also have Gundo. So Gundo goes up to a 94 overall with this build. He goes to a 95 as an attacking midfielder if you want to play him in a more advanced role. I do like this Gundo card. He's down as a whole player. Uh, most of his cards are, but there are box-to-box -box versions as well as you see there, uh, including his player of the week. I do like this card. You've got 75 speed, 80 acceleration, 80 uh, balance, and 89 stamina, but you also have kicking power as well as all the attacking stats you could want. And the key one here for me is this aggression, right? For, for a player that you're going to be playing in an advanced role, you are going to be playing Gundo in an advanced center midfielder slash attacking midfielder role, okay? So I definitely recommend him if you do not have him. That leaves us on to Rodrigo. So Rodrigo is a Roman flank. And uh, to be honest with you, lads, he's the highest rated player in the in the card or card in the in the pack. But I genuinely don't think that he's worth it, man. He doesn't have one touch pass. He does have uh, double touch and soul control and flip flaps. So he can do the ball roll. But he does have super sub as well, which is kind of the saving grace for this guy um, because he's got true passing and early crosser as well that you can kind of play him either wing. I do like him. He's not the easiest player to use compared to the likes of Dembele or Sané or any of those kind of really fast wingers. Um, but I do like him. I will say I do like him. He's something different. Now, we've trained him up slightly different here. If you want to get a higher uh, overall... You can boost up his passing a little bit and you can take down his dexterity if you want to do that. It's up to you. You can go to 95 and have 82 finishing. But if you don't, as most people don't, um, you know, if you're using your winger as either like just pure speed, I would keep this guy as a super sub. And that's where he goes into the top 10 of super subs that you could bring on because you've got blister and pace you've got brilliant balance and offensive awareness as well as having dribbling and all of those goodies that you want with the player skills right obviously you don't need as much uh, speed and stamina i would cap that at probably 86 and that will free up another uh, dexterity there to get the balance up as high as you possibly can so it's a good card it's not an amazing card you still have 70 pa low pass as well right so moving on to next week's um ones i would say that on monday we're going to be getting this box here so as we mentioned, this box is going to have Vinicius, Griezmann, Rafinha, uh, Jose, Munain, Moreno, Raul de Thomas, and Stauni. Stauni. So this guy, Stauni? Stauni. Anyway, this, this is a fairly good attacking selection. If you wanted to, right, I would genuinely recommend trying to get Vinicius, lads. We don't know what rating he's going to have, but his standard card is down as a 26, right? He's usually on good form. So I do feel like even if he has 26, 27 levels... Comparing him to the Rodri Rodrigo card, you're going to have an insane dribbler. And we, I've used Rodrigo quite a bit, lads, and he's not as good as Vinicius. Vinicius is just in a completely different level altogether because he can, he can shoot as well as do everything else. You're going to have, you know, 80 finish in there and still be able to get all those dribbling stats into the 90 zone. If you don't want to go that deep with it, you can get his dexterity up and the balance and the acceleration is going to be maxed out and still be able to get that dribbling up. If you don't finish a lot, you can keep it at 75 and put it into speed uh, or else pop, pop it into dribbling to have 90. It's, it's going to be an incredible card. And I would say that it'll probably keep it in line with the standard ratings. We could go higher than 27. If it does, it's going to be an extremely good card. Similarly with Griezmann, we have Griezmann here. Griezmann is kind of a hard player to use. This guy is down, obviously, as a whole player, but we've had creative playmakers. We'd have deep line forwards. We've had a lot of different versions of him. Brilliant uh, player skills, double touch, chip shot, acrobatic, and first time shot as well as true passing. He doesn't have low lofted pass, but I would be playing him as an AMF. And then we also have uh, Tomas as well. And this guy, a lot of people talk about this guy as being a really good target man. And I must say that this card, right, bearing in mind with his standard, if it is at around 29, if it is at 31, and you're able to put, you know, 88 into finishing, and then also be able to have 80 uh, speed, as well as having that, you know, maybe 80 acceleration. You don't need dribbling with him. His dribbling type possession is enough at 75. Just, just pop that up a little bit. Low pass for 70. You already have one touch pass. You won't need to do much more than that. And then also as well on top of that is I would turn him into a battering ram up front. If you could do that, it would be a very, very beastly card. He is, uh, he is a very good guy in the air as well because he's got acrobatic finishing and heading. And then Munain, one of my favorite players that I've ever used in Pez and eFootball. He has 29 levels on his standard card. This card would be much better 
And it's going to be much better than his standard card straight off the rip. It's going to be plus two in every single stat with a little comparison there. So you know what you're going to be getting with him. Brilliant, plays way above his stats. But other than that, I would say that it's going to be, uh, again, uh, a kind of a, a more of a beginner's um, pack, I would say. So that is it for me, lads. I will be back quite soon. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of like preview of the other packs as well. And let me know if you got anybody in this Spanish selection or you're going to wait until Monday. We will have epics as well Monday, of course, and we will do a video on that. But let's crack on and uh, I will see you in a bit. Peace.